How are you doing today? Today we're going to be breaking down our solar and battery setup for our RVs so you guys can understand how everything talks to each other and how it all works. Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. Last year we sold our house and we're traveling across the country with our kids. Hi, my name's Goose and this is Maverick. <laughs> Come join us! And for me, I am very much a visual learner. So the best way for me to kind of understand it and wrap my head around it is to see how it's laid out like a diagram. So without further ado, here's our diagram. <laughs> this may look super confusing, but let's go ahead and walk through it step by step so you guys can understand what's going on. Like I said, I'm a visual learner. So this is going to be the best way for me not only to explain, but to kind of break it down for you guys. We start at the top. We'll start with the sun. These are our four 170 watt ZAMP solar panels. These go into two different junction boxes that you saw us install the other day that then come down to our two studs that then combine the both into one positive and negative wire that runs into our 60 amp charge controller. By the way, sorry if this is like too nerdy for a lot of you. I understand that this will be a much more specific niche audience that cares about this, but I wanted to have it, but not only for my own understanding, but just so you guys can kind of understand. Okay, back to the diagram. Okay, so then running from our 60 amp charge controller here, we have our positive and negative out, as well as our Cat5 cable that runs from our 60 amp charge controller to our display that we mounted up in our bedroom. So what this controller does is allows us to see how much uh, amperage or wattage we're bringing in as well as check as check out the voltage of the batteries without having to go down into the underpass it also allows you to switch the charge type such as the uh, lithium or the lead acid or AGM you can cycle between those different charge settings from here as opposed to having to go to underneath because if we're being honest it is a pain in the butt to get down there once I have all of the stuff jammed in there there's a lot of stuff in that underpass <laughs> okay and like I said we have our positive and our neutral running out of the charge controller our neutral runs to the shunt and our positive runs to the fuse that is attached directly to our batteries and from that shunt we have the little tiny phone cable running up to our Victron Bluetooth monitor. And this Bluetooth monitor is really important. This is what allows us to see how much power we're pulling out, how much we're putting in. It gives us our percentage of how much we have left based on the amount of amp hours we have and how much we've used. This is very important. And this is the display that we have mounted up uh, right here behind you guys in the kitchen so we can see how much power we have. Plus, I can also access it from my phone and see how much we're doing there. Uh, and then from the shunt, like I said earlier, the, uh, the neutral from the charge controller is coming into this, but also everything else that is being used is attached to this. So the 12 volt uh, system is running up to it from here. Anything I have attached, like I attached that air compressor and some other things, it's all attached to this neutral side of the shunt because that's what's gonna tell us how much power we're sucking from the batteries going through the shunt. So that's very important how you set that up. And then the positive, like I said, running directly to the batteries. And then from here, from the batteries to the multi-plus inverter, between that, we have our big 30 amp fuse. So if there's any sort of catastrophic events of any sort, that will hopefully save the system and not just let it all blow out. And then into the multi-plus. Now, the multi-plus has multiple inputs and outputs. It's got your AC and your DC side. So our DC side, which is the battery side, is what controls the 12 volt system as well as the shunt and the batteries. That's all hooked up to the DC side. Then on the AC side of the uh, MultiPlus is where we have those lines running all the way back to our uh, breaker box in the back of the trailer. And this is what allows the inverter to send that up current, that up, the voltage that has been up from 12 volts of the batteries to 120 volts to the breaker box so we can power our TVs, so we can power our outlets and everything like that from the breaker box. So it sucks the juice from the batteries through the fuse into the 12 volt side, it ups it up to that 120 volts and sends it out to our uh, control panel. And then from here, it's all the wiring running out into the RV. Does that make sense? And for that long run from the inverter to the control panel in the back, we used a large 10 AWG cable, which had all three, the positive, negative, and the ground uh, wires in it, one going back and one going forward. And then for the batteries, I didn't mention it, we used 
oh, kind of overkill for a uh, wire. This stuff is thick. It's bigger than my thumb. So uh, I know that was one thing when I was researching. I was really curious about like what kind of wire can I get away with? And the the simple answer is like you can go as small as you want, but the smaller you go, the more likely you'll have issues. Obviously, you can't go too small because then you'll for sure have issues. But uh, we went with the 10 AWG for that long run, and then for the battery connections, we used 4 aught. So that's kind of what we used. You can gauge uh, based on your system and the length of your runs whether or not you think you should do that. The last little component is the 12 volt system. This is also attached through the uh, MultiPlus here, just on the other end of uh, the shunt and the battery. So right here where these two connect, the 12 volt system is also connected there with a positive and a neutral line. So I know this all sounds really confusing. That's probably a lot of information for those of you that don't understand it. And I probably also messed up some things or skipped some things because I am by no means an electrician. Okay, so I was right. I did completely forget something. This little digital multi-control is something extremely important. This allows us to operate our MultiPlus remotely. So instead of having to go into the underpass, much like this does for the charge controller, this is even more so important. We can turn on and off our MultiPlus remotely, as well as adjust how many amps we're pulling in from uh, the shore power. This was sold separately. We did not have this to begin with, but if you are going to be doing any sort of inverter, I highly recommend having a remote control for it because it allows you to save power by flipping it off when you're not using it and turning it on when you are because your uh, inverter sucks power. And if you don't need the power at that point in time, there's no point in having it on. So being able to easily flip it on and off is very, very important. If you guys wanna see those install videos, I will link those up there where you'll see a lot more hands-on of us, how we put it together, as well as I'll have a link down below in the description listing everything we use from the solar panels to the uh, the 60 amp charge controller, the Victron Bluetooth monitor, the Battleborn batteries, the fuse, the, the, the MultiPlus, everything everything will be down in that description as well as a lot of the little tools that we use such as the crimper for crimping the cables the uh, heat shrink for the ca like all the little stuff that we use will be down there so you can not only see exactly what we did but price out the system for yourself all right so for those of you that actually stuck around to the end, thank you for watching. I know this was different than our normal vlog, but hopefully you found it a little bit informative and educational. If you have any questions about this system or about maybe other future upgrades you plan on doing, leave us a comment down below. I'd also love to hear what kind of system you have or what system you're looking at putting in. Because I know when I was researching this, I was watching all sorts of YouTube videos. So I'm guessing that's what you're doing here. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. As usual, remember, stay positive, get out there. Life is an adventure, so make some memories. Yeah. <laughs>